What's happening guys and yes we're down on the farm once again today Farming Simulator 17 We're going to be making hay So you're going to be seeing quite a few pieces of machinery today being used Including the windrower, the tedder, a big baler and a bale collector And of course the mowers Which is what we're using now so let's just um, let's just lower these mowers. I've got front and rear mowers attached to the tractor here. And first of all, we're going to be cutting the grass. Wah wah. So there you go. We're all powered up. We're in our little green tractor, and we're going to be mowing the grass. As you'll notice as we're going along, the grass will be a nice dark shade of green. These are the standard in-game textures. I haven't put any modded textures in the game as of yet. Um, so just make a note of that. Just in case you don't know, you've come here thinking, how the heck do I make hay? And you've come to watch this video to learn. <laughs> Take a note of the grass. It is a nice dark shade of green as we cut it. So I'm going to do this whole field. It's quite a small field. Um, there's another field just down in front of me there. I'm going to be doing that as well. But um, just for the sake of the video, we're only going to be working on this little um, patch of grass here. So let's continue and finish this field off and cut all this field. Now, there is also a mod available where, where you can actually buy your hay and straw and bales from the actual um, shop. But, uh, but no, we're going to be making our own. And if you happen to have animals, you're going to need an awful lot of hay. Um, because they do munch their way through it rather quickly. Okay, so that's that field done. Can I just fit through here without knocking that uh, post over there, that sign? I will knock that sign over in a minute, no doubt, as we get onto some of the uh, bigger equipment. So let's fold the mowers up. I'm uh, probably going to detach these mowers now because I'll use the same tractor. I've actually got two tractors down here at the moment on these uh, fields. But um, I'll just detach these and we'll put them in the field opposite here because I'm going to be doing this field afterwards. Whether or not I'll be collecting it for silage or making more hay, I don't know yet. But, uh, I'll probably will be making more hay um, because I'm getting through it quite quickly now. So, what do we want now? We actually want now a machine called the wind rower. Which is, uh, no we don't need the windrower, sorry, we need the tedder. That's what we're going to be using. So let me just go around again. It's the tedder. And what the tedder does, not to sign over there as well, a road sign. What the tedder does is it, um, it turns the grass, it turns the grass over so it dries um, quicker. So let's just set this up. Let's go up the top here, start it off up here so I'm away from all that parked up machinery. So we'll just unfold, unfold the tether here and lower it and switch it on. I might just be on the railway lines there with that. <laughs> am I? Yes, I am. No trains ever come across anyway, do they? So uh, we'll be all right. So let's set this machine, which is called the Tedder, into motion. And uh, what you'll see is it will turn the grass over. 
just back it up. We'll try, there we go. There we go. It's now turning the grass over. You just see that, look. And if you notice, the grass then becomes a different shade of green. And in fact, that is your hay. We now have hay. It's as simple as that. We've got hay. So you can, if you want, you can actually go around in your... Um, what do they call them? Your, um, your forage wagons or trailers and um, attach it to a tractor and pick all that up and you'll have a trailer full of hay but what I'm actually going to do today is um, we're going to be turning it into bales so we've got the whole field to do again and it's as simple as that you cut the grass attach your tether which in turn turns the grass over and it dries an awful lot quicker and abracadabra we have the hay I think I'm going to knock this sign over it's annoying me that sign is it's a stupid place to put it let's knock it over <laughs> we don't need that let's get rid of that sign Okay, so that's the whole field now done. Now, if you're a real farmer, um, you may have noticed there may be bits of grass here that I've actually missed and not actually cut, mowed. Um, a real farmer will mow every single little bit to make as much money or save as much um, grass or material or produce or crops as possible. Um, I'm just doing it very quickly. So we'll just detach this tether now and I'll take it across to the other field. Um, because I shall be using this um, shortly yet again. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be making hay bales. Um, I might make some silage bales, I don't know. But uh, anyway, for this video we're actually making hay. So now I need this machine here, which is um, a wind rower. And I'll show you what this does. Just attach it. There we go. First time, bombs your uncle. We're getting good at this now. We're getting good, we're getting professionals. Let's just back it up so we get every single piece of grass. Real farmers would get every single little piece. They'd be counting each blade. They wouldn't leave any lying around. <laughs> so, let's unfold it, switch it on, and see what this does. Well, I know what it does. Let's see it in action. So there we go, this machine puts all your cut grass, which has now been turned into hay, it puts it into little rows, little neat rows, which makes it easier to collect. So when we run up and down that, either if you're going to collect it with your foliage wagon and just have it as loose hay, it makes it easier to collect. Or if you're going to be doing what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be turning it into hay bales. It also makes it easier to collect with the baler. So that's what we're going to be doing now. We've got the whole field to do to um, put all this loose hay into nice, neat rows. I think I'm just going to catch my baler there. Now, a real farmer probably wouldn't do that because um, the machinery costs lots and lots of cash. <laughs> right, nearly finished. That's the whole. If I just clip that tree, that's the whole field 
now put into little rows. So let's just fold this up and switch it off. And as we uh, just watch this car coming up, to watch these farmers on these roads, they just pull straight out into cars. Or should I say we have to watch these cars, they just tend to hit you. <laughs> Right, well, as we drive up this field, you can see it's all in nice little neat rows, making it very, very easy to now collect whether or not you use your foliage wagons or if you use what I'm now going to use. Um, yes, we missed a little bit, never mind, but uh, um, I'm now going to use the big baler. So let's detach that because I might use it on the next field. Let's go get the big baler. The big baler! The big baler! So here we go! Where shall we start from? Let's start from down here. And run over the sign. <laughs> we don't want to collect that by the way. Right, let's, uh, let's power this machine up. The big baler! <laughs> Lower the pickup, switch it on, Bob's your uncle, off we go. How easy is that? This machine, the big baler now, the baling machine, obviously will now turn this hay into bales. And it's very easy to collect because we've used the wind, we've used the wind rower to um, collect all the hay and put it into nice lines so I'm probably not I'm actually probably not going to get many bales here probably less than 20 off this little field but uh, nevertheless I'll have a few more bales to take up to the farm to keep my cattle happy my cows to make the power food for my cows and the mixing machine etc 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 like I say, you can buy these bales, but um, depends how much money you've got. And if you do buy them, what map am I on? I'm on the gold, gold crest, gold crest valley. Actually, the silver crest valley, which is the modded map version of the gold crest valley. Um, the shop is quite away from the farm, so unless you have, if you've got that teleport, there's a teleport mod available, I think. Um, I've not used it, but um, the farm is quite away from the shop, so you've got to transport all your hay all the way up to your farm. But, uh, anyway, regardless, I, I actually prefer to make my own. And this is this is uh, this is how you do it. One of the problems I have at the moment in this FS17 is um, on the current maps that are available and the mods that are coming out at the moment, I haven't actually found um, a good storage um, building to put all this hay and straw bales and silage bales for that uh, fact in. Um, the storage sheds that are currently available on this modded map um, the next machine I'm going to use, when you actually reverse it in, it actually hits the roof. So it makes storage of um, vast amounts of bales um, difficult to store in the building. I haven't found a modded building yet. Um, no doubt as I'm, by the time I've made this video and put it together, there's one been released. But um, that's what I am missing at the moment, a nice barn to store all my bales in huge one in fact I need a huge one so I like to make an awful lot in one go rather than keep coming back making these um, making these bales so there we go we've nearly done this field now it's made it an awful lot easier um, having the hay in rows, so that's the big baler, the big baler in action. <laughs> so 
So let's just empty the baler. Get our last two bales out of the uh, out of the machine here, and we'll go and attach the bale collector. So here we go. I absolutely love this machine because it just makes life easier for me collecting the bales. There is obvious other ways to collect these bales. You don't have to collect them this way. You can come down with the flatbed trailer and um, pick them up, um, you know, with a with a tractor with a bale fork attached to it and load them onto the trailer. But um, this way to me it's just so quick because it just you just go along and it picks picks the uh, bales up just look at this i think you can get 16 on and um and then you go back to your barn and unload them now that's the problem i'm having i haven't got a shelter i can drive in completely yet in this game on on fs15 i had um, a barn or i was using barns that i could drive straight in and regardless where i parked this trailer when i unloaded it I could not, I didn't hit the roof. The problem The problem I'm having at the moment is the majority, in fact all the buildings I'm going into with this machine is hitting the roof. So I'm not being, I, I can't stack them as quickly and easily as I would like to at the moment. But no doubt that will change shortly um, as more mods come out and more maps and placeable objects regarding buildings. And let me just see how many we got. We're nearly there now. We're nearly fully loaded. Just a couple more on here, and I'll unload it. Um, I'll actually uh, just unload it in this field, to be honest, because I've got a lot of work I want to continue down here on with. So let's just get our final few. Yeah, it's 16. This this trailer collects 16 bales, and as you can see, it collects them very, very easy. Oh, we missed one there. <laughs> A good tractor driver would have got that the first time. Let's spin around, let's go pick it up. And there we go. So that's it. Fully loaded. 16 bales. Now normally I would run this straight up to the farm and uh, put it in my barn but uh, I'll just unload it here in case you've never seen this piece of kit. I really do like this because generally if you've got a good sized shelter or barn you can just reverse straight in, tip the trailer, unload it like this, no messing and drive off when you press the correct button. <laughs> oh no, epic fail. Uh -uh. Right, let's try again. So generally, <laughs> you can just drive straight into your barn, as we demonstrate here, but we haven't got the barn. Let's just pretend we've reversed into the barn or driven into the barn. And, we don't, and we're actually unloading. Um, there we go, and drive off. And they should all stay up without falling down. Job done. Van Davidozy. So there you go guys, today down on the farm we've been making hay using various equipment and turning the hay into bales. So thanks for watching, see you all again real soon.